Hey, how's it going guys? So today I wanted to make a quick little video on The Watcher. And if you haven't seen it, I want to just sort of glaze over the question if it's really worth watching. So I'll play some of the trailer as we go throughout this video. Just makes editing a little bit easier. So if you don't know, it's basically about a family who moves into a house and they start getting strange letters in their mailbox. And it seems like everyone around them is a bit of a suspect. And it's based on a true story that this happened to a couple and their three children back, I believe, in 2014. Um, the reason why I want to make this video is because I wish somebody would have made this for me, even though this is pretty new and fresh, I think it came out maybe a couple weeks ago and it's still pretty popular right now on Netflix. I believe it's still number one. Um, I would say if you're into murder, true crime, it may not be interesting to you, but if you're into just mystery and stuff like that, then I would say it's worth watching. The production value is great. The casting, I feel like they did a good job. I haven't seen Naomi Watts in a while. And so it's good to see her back sort of in the limelight a little bit. I'm sure she's been in other stuff, but as far as like mainstream, I haven't really seen her uh, too much. Now, the reason why I say it's more of a 50-50 as far as if you should watch it or not, the reason... I would say not to watch it is because and this is going to bring in spoilers so if you don't want spoilers then here's your spoiler warning now um well sort of spoilers spoilers incoming so in the series there's no conclusion because the watcher um sort of story is still in a mystery to the people of Westfield, New Jersey. Nobody knows who the person is still to this day. And there's a lot of red herrings, which I don't mind a red herring once in a while, but it's it's pretty consistent throughout each episode. Like, you know, you think it's this person, but it's not. And then the next episode, it's like, it could be this person, but it really it isn't. There's no real definitive answer as to who it is. And that's why if you really like mystery, you'll enjoy this a lot because it's 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 one of those things where it's like you can sort of decide, you know, was it this person? Was it these neighbors? Was it this person? You know, it all depends. You know, it could have been, you know, anyone. And that's, I think, what the director was going for. I would say it's a good watch if... You want to watch something that's super mysterious and kind of odd and weird at the same time. But I would say if you're into murder and stuff like that, nobody gets killed at all. Um, there's maybe some threats here and there, but it's nobody nobody gets murdered in this movie or in this uh, TV show. Uh, and it's more of a thrower than it is a horror, in my opinion. I've seen a lot of horror, though, so you can be the judge. Uh, if you have seen The Watcher, please comment down below. Tell me what you, th you thought of The Watcher. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. I like to make videos about this kind of stuff. And yeah, hit the like button and I will see you in the next video.